The map is fully playable and the layout is close to completion, but that doesn't mean there isn't work to be done. I want to share with you a before and after of a small area I've been making some edits to. The area I want to look at is the one in the distance, where those fireballs are emanating from. That structure exists solely as a platform for imps to shoot at us, um, adding some motivation for the player to leave this room. It's natural for there to be some hesitation when making any one-way navigation. Having endless fireballs flying in your direction can help make that decision just a tad easier. It's a simple structure, and easy to navigate, and rather uninteresting. The goal for this edit is to allow some free traversal um, and give some more choice to the player. Let's take a look at the update. It looks very similar. The most visible change is the use of some light on the left there to draw the player's attention towards an elevator. Ignoring the elevator, it's still possible to navigate around the structure. Free traversal relies on permeability in design to provide choice for the player. The goal is to present interesting options that allow the player to go around, over, through, However they'd like. A repercussion is that interacting with this space is entirely optional. That's freed me up to make it a bit more of a puzzle and a bit more of a challenge, without sacrificing the level flow that was already working. Because the map is non-linear and shares that high level of permeability, the structure can be approached from multiple directions and has required testing of various possible paths. It's really rewarding to stumble on surprising moments that feel emergent and unique and very personal. I'll leave you with footage of one moment that really did catch me by surprise.